City of mine How I love, how I love The city of mine Hello friends, it's Sunday morning right now. I went to calls this morning, took the 10 a 10 a.m. class, got a workout in, and I stopped at my favorite place. I stopped at Ulta and got my vanilla chai. Kind of forgot about it. Hmm. All right. Today is a little, I guess, Sunday fun day, if you will. I went out last night, kind of lost my voice, but it's slowly coming back. I'm gonna go meet up with my friend in a little bit. We're gonna go brunch. I don't know where the day will take me after that, but I already got my workout in, showered, we're good. So I have an Amazon package. I ordered this, I think yesterday, and I'm very excited for this. You guys know I love fall so much. So when I saw these uh, on Amazon, I was like, yeah, okay, I need to buy these. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay. I will be making a latte tomorrow morning to test this for you guys. But <laughs> we're going full fall up in here. Look at this. The Califia Farms, which is the oat milk that I usually use in my lattes, but this is their pumpkin spice oat. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been uh, drinking the oat milk creamer and I was like, you know, this would just be easier because it's all in one. And it was limited edition, so I figured why not try it out while we can. So I have six of them, so I'm really hoping they're good. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to like bake with it or something. But it says you can do a bunch of different things with it. So, you know, there's options. But I'm very excited to try it. We will make a latte tomorrow morning and try those. And then I ran out of all of my favorite Nespresso pods and uh, Lusso Lane Espresso pods. So, I was like, since I'm just ordering milk, I might as well order some new espresso. There was really good reviews about this one on Amazon. Lore? Honestly, couldn't even tell you how to say that. I've never heard of this brand before, but the reviews just sold me on it. So here we are. We got a little variety pack so I can see which ones I like the best. This one is Onyx. So this one is like the strongest blend. And then we have Lungo. This is an eight. We have Columbia. I, it doesn't say what like level this is oh intensity is an eight as well so these two i guess are the same ristretto and 11 and then i think this is like their classic one this is a nine but now i can try all of these different pods out and we'll see which one i like the best uh, and if i will buy them again we'll try that out tomorrow morning as well because i'm not making another coffee today because i already had a coffee and then i had an energy not an energy drink i had pre-workout before i went to the workout class and now i'm having a chai i don't think it has caffeine in it but you know i don't need more okay i'm gonna head out to grab brunch then i am at home from brunch i've been home for a little while I forgot to get clips while I was out, but I did end up coming home and I feel like I don't talk about like my waves of like depression and anxiety as much I guess lately because I feel like I haven't really experienced them as often, but in the last month I've had like two waves of it like last weekend. I don't know like sometimes it just like it takes over completely and I literally sat in my shower for 45 minutes and just cried. It's, that's just how life goes sometimes. That was that day, that was like all I could do to like just cope with how I was feeling and I felt like I could not like snap out of it. Um, and I texted one of my friends and I was just like talking to them about it. So I asked you guys in like the most recent uh, vlog that I posted today, 
what you guys want me to like talk about more in my vlogs and someone addressed the topic of like mental health and so I just felt like I wanted to share my two experiences that have happened recently so for me something that helps is you know some days it's just really freaking hard to snap out of it and I just like physically could not pull myself out of it I had a really good cry I talked to my friend about it and I feel like talking to someone else whether you know you're going to therapy and talking to someone or taking medicine whatever it may be that you know is gonna help you for me it is that day it was you know letting let a good cry out and talking to my friend about it and just kind of explaining and trying to process myself why I was feeling the way that I was feeling and why I was having these emotions and I don't know it just kind of helps talking to someone having a friend that you can like express what you're going through too so that's a little tip have a, have a friend have someone that you feel like you can talk to about stuff like that and then today when after I left brunch I was driving home and I just felt like this major wave of sadness and I was like I don't know why I feel this way I have so many so many good things in my life going right now that I feel so very like blessed and thankful for and I was driving home and I was like I just I feel like if I let myself sit in this it's just not gonna be good for me so I decided to take my bike out and go on a little adventure. I put in my AirPods and I just listened to some music. I went out, explored a little bit. It was beautiful outside and I'm just really glad I did that. I I don't know why I just felt like I needed to be like out in nature today. So that was my that was my way of coping with it today. And again, I texted my friend, you know, explained what I was going through and you know my mindset and everything but taking that bike ride I was off my phone for an entire hour I think that I was out maybe even more and just listening to music and I was out with nature just connecting and it just felt really good so I just wanted to share that I just want to share with you guys that you know like everything that you see online isn't always perfect and we all have our good and bad days and we're all struggling with things so just know that you are not alone we all go through stuff like that and i'm just doing my best to find ways to cope with it and understand it and process it and i just want to be able to share you know things that work for me with you guys because who knows maybe it'll work for you maybe not obviously everyone's different we all go through different things we all process emotions differently but yeah i just i wanted to share that because i didn't want you guys to just think that i have you know had like perfect happy amazing days every single day because in reality like that's just not how it goes i also on my bike ride home i was like you know what i just want like comforting food and so i ordered myself doordash and i ordered some donuts as well because i was like i know that i'm gonna be craving dinner and also like wanting something sweet because i've been like craving sweets the last like few days and i haven't had any in my house so i was like you know what i'm just gonna order everything so i ordered myself doordash and everything and then by the time i got home it was it was here so i got home from my bike ride i was feeling so much better and then i sat on the couch ate my food felt better watching some netflix so that's just one little way that i have been coping with you know my my emotions sometimes when i feel like they're kind of just taking over okay it's a bit later and i took bentley on a walk i listened to a podcast i filmed a um a what's on my iphone video to go live tomorrow i'm gonna try to get more videos up this week maybe we'll see if i can get five who knows um but feeling better i've also sat and wrote out a list of some videos that i want to film and i'm just i'm trying to find inspiration for like new content and try to figure out how i want to structure my vlogs and structure the videos and stuff like that so i'm just it's like the research that you gotta put in before you can like complete the project you know so if you guys have any little like tips or things that you like to see like in people's vlogs things that like keep you coming back and well there's like little details or like how they film stuff like that like i want to know what you guys want to see from me and what is going to keep you coming back to the vlogs like day in day out you know? 
Ooh, ouchie. That kind of hurts. <laughs> okay, it's uh, 8 p.m. I have to take him on his last little walk for the night. Um, I think I'm gonna shower first since it's only eight. Um, I try to take him out like a little bit later because he likes to be up at like five, six every morning. So sometimes like the later that I take him out, the later he'll sleep in, but it's literally never past 7 a.m. I think I'm gonna film a morning routine tomorrow morning as well. So um, I'm gonna get like my camera prepped and set up flat but let's go take a shower i feel very grimy from my bike ride and just from the day in general <laughs> t-shirt and like boy shorts kind of girl but I do have to take Benny out for a walk and we have to be appropriate so uh sweatpants are from urban tops from garage and boy shorts are from aloe I'm gonna do my evening skincare really quick maybe I'll turn this light on so hi we can see better skin care let's go I have been trying to what do they call it skin cycling so basically like one night i will do my retinol or, like the first night i do exfoliant next night i do retinol and then the night after i'll do like moisturizer i'm not like a, an amazing on top of it kind of person i try my best but uh i'm also getting off birth control and my my acne uh, like around my chin is just out of control and <laughs> It's so not fun. Um, so I have been, oh, I almost dropped it. I've been using this pretty much every single night and I have noticed a huge difference. I just had this little friend decide to join us today um, or like last night. So <laughs> it's so fun. You're about drinking water in the back, sorry. So this is the BHA Clarify Gel Cream formulated with salicylic acid. And <coughs> Centella 
extract to help maintain a clear complexion. It says you're supposed to apply it after your toners and serums. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't do that. But I should get better at that. Other thing that I have been using a lot lately on the acne that has been popping up is this Caudal? Caudalie? Caudalie? I don't know how to say it, but I love this mask. Um, I will throw this on, especially in the days when I feel like I just have really heavy breakouts. And that in combo with the uh, BHA cream. BHA, what is it? BHA clarifying gel cream. Um, I have noticed that it has been helping. Okay, I'm gonna go in with some hyaluronic acid. And moisturize <laughs> my skin. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna put on a little pimple patch as well before I call it a night. Moisturizer I'm using Youth to the People Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. That was way too much. All right, we're gonna blend that down my neck. I always take Bentley up the stairs after we do our like last little walk for the night just to like really tire him out because it's a lot of flights of stairs back up but it's a little bit of a workout for me too i have fully lost my voice over the last few days so i think i'm gonna make myself a cup of tea oh my under cabinet lights will work i love it i'm gonna make myself a cup of tea one thing that i have noticed since we are on the topic of mental health uh, for this vlog, my my brain fog with my gut health lately, uh, my gut health has been terrible because I have been on um, really strong antibiotics for my ear infection. And I was talking to my friend the other day and I still kind of feel like something is not fully healed in this ear. And she was like, yeah, you should probably go back to the doctor and see and just have them check it out. Um, she's a nurse. So she was giving me some help the other night, but yeah. So now I'm convinced that I need to go back to the doctor again and see if I can get this fully figured out. But it's unfortunate. Mm -hmm but my gut health has been absolutely destroyed because of all the strong antibiotics that I have been having to take. And that really messes with my like brain fog. And I also notice like a dip in my mental health. And I think that's also why I've had like two relatively like within a week of each other, like two very, um, I guess bad, like, for me, um, now that I'm like better at managing them all. Um, but like bad episodes, if that's what you want to call them, um, of depression. I definitely notice, I definitely notice it when my gut health is just not on point. So I have been taking my seed pre and probiotics during um, all of the antibiotics that I've been taking, but they've been so freaking strong. I think they have like destroyed everything. Obviously not like everything, but you know, I'm just, I've been so freaking bloated lately and I'm not really like this. It's all the antibiotics and probably getting off birth control. Like it's just a mix of so many things and that's so many things that's affecting my mental health right now. And so, you know, a lot of it has to do with your gut health. So I've been really trying to stay on track of taking my probiotics. Um, and I'm also adding in my AG1s in the mornings as well to just give my body everything it needs. And then, oops, I just knocked that over. Peak sent me some of these so long ago and I never got around to trying them until literally I got my ear infection and that's when I was like, oh, I forgot I had these. These are immune support um, little packets. I just cut the top off and then it's literally just like liquid in here and you just like squeeze it um, and it's like a little shot of what is this what's in it um elderberry and liposomal see i don't know what that is but elderberry is really good for immunity that is typically something that i usually take um not as frequently as i should but 
this just makes it so easy to like have one of these every single day so uh, I need to order more of these and just keep them like in a jar on my counter and make sure that I am keeping up with my immune system constantly because that's gonna help as well okay so tea I'm having tonight <coughs> My cough is fully not gone away from my ear infection. Like I felt like really good for a week and then I felt like it like kind of started again. And I, I, this has happened like before when I have ear infections, it's like gross, but it's like, you know, all the drainage and stuff from the infection itself. Um, so I feel like this is like the little last bit of it, but it like kind of lingers and leaves the cough, which is unfortunate. So. I, don't know. I will definitely be going to the doctor again to see if they can give me anything else or you know just make sure that the infection is fully gone because it kind of doesn't seem like it is especially because it's been like four weeks now but i gotta i gotta figure out a day that i can go to the doctor and get that looked at but in the meantime i'm doing everything that i can to keep up with my immune system helping my gut because if i do have to go on another round of antibiotics quite honestly that's really gonna suck and just ruin it even more which is just so so fun. Okay. Well, this marinates. Um, you know, what did I say about leaving toys in the middle of the floor, huh? <laughs> He's like, I don't know, Mom. I don't think we ever talked about them before. <laughs> okay, let me close this. I got all of my vitamins and stuff set out for tomorrow. I'm going to turn this off and I do need to turn that light off too, but I need to grab, I need to, I think I need to fill up my water. Ever since I bought this new water bottle, I have been drinking way more water. A little tip if you feel like you're not like getting your intake in, because obviously this is so important for your health just in general. Um, try getting a new water bottle. It might inspire you. Honestly, sometimes it's just the little things. And for me, that was getting a cute new water bottle that I liked. And here we are. I think I'm actually hitting like my water intake that I need to be every single day. So, kind of proud of that. Last step before bed, I get to take my contacts out, which is quite literally my favorite part of the day. Oh, it's, it's just so nice. Glasses are a little bit dirty. Let's give them a good little clean. I'm gonna go lay down in bed now, drink my tea. We'll catch up in the morning. Good morning. It's the next day. I was trying to get my microphone to work. I got it to work on my phone, but for some reason, every time I connect it to my actual camera, because there's like two different cords for it, it it just keeps cutting out, and I can't like risk losing audio on a vlog because obviously, like, that's so difficult to re-record. So I think I might just save this for the gym and test it out maybe do some like gym vlogs for like tiktok or reels or something but i did order another set of microphones and this one has two microphones so honestly i might even think about returning this i haven't decided yet i don't know how much time i really have left in the return window but i should probably look into that we'll see i don't know why it's not working on my camera but it will work with my phone with like another attachment that i have to add on but anyways I'm in the process of filming my morning routine right now, so you guys will see that very, very soon if it's not up already, which I feel like it'll probably be up before you guys see this video. I made the, um, my latte with the pumpkin spice oat milk. Why was that so difficult? It's so dang good. I'm probably going to make another one before I go to the gym. It's 
9 a.m. right now, but I think I'm going to either eat something before or probably actually after I get back from the gym. I want to kindly thank Factor for sponsoring today's vlog. I absolutely love working with them and I feel so grateful to have the opportunity to work with both HelloFresh and Factor. They're actually owned by the same company. Uh, what I love about Factor is that they deliver fresh, never frozen meals right to your doorstep. And the difference between these and like the HelloFresh meals that you guys see all the time is these are already like pre-made. So they're meal prepped for you. You don't have to worry about, you know, making an entire meal, which for me with a really busy schedule and sometimes I'm just like running out of time. It's so nice to just have meals that are already made in my refrigerator. All you have to do is pop these in the microwave, heat them up, and they are ready in two minutes to eat. They offer keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, vegan, and veggie options, which include seafood, meat, and plant-based meals. They also have smoothie options as well. So I love that I have the option of a smoothie and also the um, prepared meals. Those honestly make like the perfect snack. And whenever I'm running out of groceries or just like, you know, don't have anything, it's nice to have those in my refrigerator for a healthy, easy snack because it fills you up as well. Head to go.factor75.com slash katherinejune130 and use the code katherinejune130 to get $130 off across six boxes. Again, that's go.factor75.com slash katherinejune130 and use the code katherinejune130 to get $130 off across six boxes. Hello, family boy. All right, I have been getting work done all morning it's been very productive i still have to finish filming my morning routine um and i still need to go to the gym it's already 11 30 11 15 so i think i'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here i love you guys remember that you guys are never alone and don't forget to check out factor i will have them linked in the description box for you guys and we'll see you in the next vlog